on the Red Horse Ranch. Only Alabama, Rose, and Mr. Carter remain at Red Horse Ranch. The rest of the outfit are out on the roundup, bringing in all of the Red Horse herd. Mr. Carter intends to sell his entire herd this spring in order to raise enough money to save his Red Horse Ranch. Because of Alabama's recent injury, Mr. Carter placed Steve Bradford in charge of his outfit on the roundup. Let's join them. It's evening. All right, Bob, you and Idaho ride on into camp to get something to eat. Be doing night herd tonight with Tenderfoot. Wouldn't do no harm to double up the guard, would it, Bradford? Getting all these cows back to the Red Horse Ranch is mighty important. I'm boss of this outfit now. I'll give instructions. Now you'll be back with the herd as soon as you can. Ride round them slow and see that they don't stray off the bed ground. Oh, I reckon we know how to night herd. Being with a Red Horse outfit for the last 15 years. You'll take my orders now, Idaho, or you'll pack out of here pronto. Alabama isn't your boss now. So I've noticed. Now get on up to the chuck wagon. I'll be expecting you out here with the herd in a half hour. Well, I guess we might as well put on the morale, Idaho. Yeah. Let's go, Prince. If that Bradford knows how to round up a herd of cows, I'm a sod busting squatter. Round up. Bradford. Someday I'm going to fly off at of that hombre. What's he doing out here anyhow, trying to tell a puncher what to do? I never had to take orders in my life. You know, this is the first roundup I can remember where Alabama wasn't along. Bradford sure talked himself into a sweet spot with the big boss. Bob, I'm telling you, there's something behind all this. Bradford coming into this country, buying up the land around here. Carter won't sell a red horse outfit. Bradford's old. What does Bradford do but offer to be straw boss on the roundup? You figure it out. Oh, I'm too tired for that. It sure ain't gonna be like the old days with Alabama staying back at the ranch house with that busted head of his. Hmm. Smell that coffee at the chuck wagon, Idaho. Yeah. Oh, Prince. Hmm. Hope that coffee's done. Java coming along. She's practically ready, Mr. Bob. Practically ready. I sure hope it ain't as bad as it was last night. No, it couldn't be. You may have to chew it a little bit before you swallow it, though. <laughs> <laughs> I can make better coffee if you find me some good water. I want to eat them. Oh, dry up and get the Java poured out, Cookie. I'm getting back to the herd. What do you mean, Mr. Idaho? Ain't you going to eat nothing except some coffee? I'll cook some powerful scrumptious dry out. Never mind. Just hand me that jabber. What yeah. ailing you, Idaho? You're touchy as a cook. Round up. Without Alabama. Whatever put it into Dad Carter to send out a straw boss like that Bradford over to this outfit? I agree with you most positively, Miss Idaho. Oh, Bradford, you must think I was the cook and the cook's helper. 
whole outfit the way he's been making me work around here. Well, suppose we just well make the best of it. What went wrong with your mouth harp, Arizona? Oh, you want some music, do you? I'll sing uh, for we you. We never asked for nothing like that. Uh, give me another slab of that salt pork, Cookie. Yeah, I'll show okay. you some singing what is singing. Oh, I've got no use for the women. A true one may seldom be found. Hey, hey. They're all the like hey. at the bottom. Hey, hey what in tarnation's going wrong, wrong with the herd? Oh, They're darn near stampede. By <laughs> golly, it's Arizona singing the ditty. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> Hey, Tex, hurry up and sing something. See if you can get them doggies to quiet down. Well, I think this will do the trick all right, Bob. Slow up, doggies, quit your roving around. You've wandered and trampled all over the ground. Oh, graze along, doggies, and feed kind of slow. And don't you forever be on the go. Move slow, doggies, move slow. Hi oh, hi oh, hi oh. I've trailered it, cross herded it, night herded it too. But to keep you together is more than I can do. My horse is late, weary, and I am awful tired. But if you get away, I'm sure to get fired. Bunch of doggies, bunch of. I oh I oh I oh Lay still, doggies, since you have laid down Stretch away out on the big open ground Snow loud, little doggies, and still a wild sound That will all go away when the day rolls around Lay still, doggies, lay still I oh Tell you, Tex, that song's quieted many a doggie down out here on this range. I reckon you're right, Bob. Singing will do it when nothing else will. Well, we might all of us try one. Well, here's Tenderfoot. Looks sort of tuckered out to me. You just getting in, Tenderfoot? Howdy, boys. Yeah, need any help, Cookie? Well, isn't here, Tenderfoot. You just sit down and rest well, yourself. I, that Bradford been working the high right off in your bones. Oh, I don't mind. Uh, don't mind moving, do you, Bob? Bradford oh, says you're doing night herd tonight. Don't he figure you're doing enough by wrangling the remuda and helping Cookie here at the chuck wagon? Well, he says he needs me out there. We're going to hobble the horses so I won't have to watch him. Well, I'll be powerful glad when this drive is over. Funny how we've been looking forward to it so much. <laughs> You'll rest yourself a while, Tenderfoot. Thanks. I reckon we're all pretty tired and fed up. Uh, At midnight when the cattle are sleeping On the saddle I pillow my head And up at the heavens lie peeping From out of my cold grassy bed Often and often I wonder At night when lying alone If every bright star up yonder Is a big thief old world like our own At night in the bright stars up yonder Cowboys lie down to their rest Do they gaze at this old world and wonder If riders dash over its breast Do they listen to the wolves in the canyon Do they watch the night owl in its flight the horse has their only companion while guarding the herd through the night. Well, guess we'd better move on out with the herd. Cheyenne and the other boys will be wanting to come in right soon. Oh, we'll be relieving you out there on guard along about midnight, boys. That's what Bradford says. Bradford. 
I'd like to see him get a cow by the tail oh, just uh, once. Say, uh, quiet, Idaho. That may be him riding into camp uh, there now. I don't mind him knowing what I think. Say, who is that? He didn't ride up from the herd. Well, howdy, stranger. Howdy, stranger. Howdy, stranger. Huff, well, I'm a snorting longhorn. It's Alabama. Well, put me over. Well, well, well doggone if it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, you old ran a hand, you. <laughs> Pry yourself out of that saddle and be quick about it. It is Alabama. Where'd you come from, Alabama? <laughs> What's Get got in here, sourdough, stand there all spraddled out? On, you ain't right. never seen me miss a roundup yet, well, have you? Well, you old maverick, you. <laughs> <laughs> you old horned frog, righty down. <laughs> no, sir, no, Cookie. No. A ghost can't eat biscuits and bacon and fried spuds, and that's just what I'm going to do right yeah, now. Move over here. Right, yeah. go get ready right now. <laughs> right. But, Alabama, what did you do? How did you happen to join us after well, all? Well, wait till I get myself set well, down here by the fire. Yeah, <laughs> well, boys, on. this is one time I sort of walked out on the boss. Uh, with you fellas out here, I couldn't anymore hold myself around that ranch house, and a bird can well, swim. Yes, not. So I slipped out and saddled up red, and here I am. <laughs> I reckon uh, the old boss is just finding it out. Well, <laughs> well you old polecat or Man, something. Man, I knew things couldn't last the way they was. Come on, Arizona, let's get in the saddle. Get going. As Bye. I was walking down the street, down the street, yeah. down the street, a pretty gal I chanced to meet under the silvery moon. Buffalo gals was come out tonight, come out tonight, come out tonight. Buffalo gals was come out tonight, dance for the light of the moon. H-H-H-H coming out tonight, coming out tonight, coming out tonight. H-H-H-H coming out tonight, dance for the light of the moon. Hey. Well, boys, you wait till I get red out there with the herd. I'll show your horse that can cut with the best of them. Well, we'll tail them slorting longhorns in now. That's yeah. right. I guess that's some of the rusty boys coming up from bedding down the herd. Get up here, you rusty, and see who's here. I know. Pop, tenderfoot. Get back with that herd. Think you can spend half the night at the chuck wagon? Oh, it's Bradford. Again. All right, come on. Let's get going. Straddle your horses and ride on back. Oh, Alabama, huh? How did you get here? <laughs> sure, it's Alabama. Don't mind another hand, do you, Bradford? Carter put me in charge of this outfit, Alabama. You're no longer the foreman while I'm here. Well, I don't mind. I can ride for you. <laughs> <laughs> right, sure you won't get dizzy again and fall off your horse like you did over on my bar, D? <laughs> I know when to keep my eyes open now, Bradford. I'm sure that won't happen again. <laughs> You're mighty sure of yourself, aren't you? Well, I'll take that out of you. Bob, you're staying in camp tonight. Alabam can do night herd. Tonight and every night. Well, that Steve Bradford's turning out to be rather unfriendly to all the boys in the outfit, isn't he? What is Alabama to do? Perhaps he's learned something more about Bradford since we last saw him. <laughs>